Alright, we are back at the spinny boulder room. Um, yeah, the main reason I just kind of cut off is because I am running out of stuff to talk about. Fred. Don't have. It's not as much like the first game, uh, the first, the guide where I could just fucking chat up whatever I wanted to about the game because I've already talked about that. I don't want to be fucking redundant. Uh, yeah. To the left of the stairs, if you wanted to, you could grab the large titanite shards, but again, we're not going to be really using them for anything, because you don't need any sort of titanite shards for this playthrough, because you are not going to be upgrading anything. Although, we are going to be repairing stuff, because I believe our fucking hat is pretty easily broken. See how my hat's doing. Not bad. I'm just gonna make sure it uh, stays in good condition because I think if it breaks, you lose the uh, damage boost. I'm not 100% sure on that, but better safe than sorry. Probably should have attuned my spells differently just to kill the guy that throws fire bombs. And then go straight for the boss, but I didn't. So hopefully we can one-shot them. Come down here. We didn't grab this in the guide, and that bomb is probably gonna kill us because it lands there. Um, burn the shit out of that guy. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to kill that guy first, and then rest back at the bonfire. Kind of just talking out loud, so I guess we won't have to rest back the bonfire because we will fucking die. Which uh, kind of works out either way for us because we didn't lose anything important. We're just gonna run back, grab those souls, go up there, fucking uh, crispify that guy that did that to us with the regular combustions. Hmm. It'd be nice if the souls were where we died, but I'm not 100% sure where they are. We'll, uh, we'll kill the guy and then go searching for him. We don't necessarily need them a lot, but don't oh, there. It'd be nice to have them. But primarily, I am focused on sweet fucking revenge on this giant fuck. So, again, any scorched black marks are where he can throw his goddamn fireballs. But we're gonna show him what a fireball actually fucking is. Somewhat resistant to that. Watch out for his stomps. Ooh. Fucking asshole. Show them how fucking tough we are by going through all the toys. Uh, again, that guy does not respawn. But he does give us 3,000 souls. And we're gonna go grab our 12,000. Where the fuck am I? Nothing really important over here. It's kind of a neat little place to go. I was a little confused because I thought I was down here. But yeah, grab our shit. Um, yeah. We don't really need to go kill Ricard and the big fucking Tower Knight before him. Because we don't really need any of those souls or anything. 
Gotta pick those up. Not because we need them, but because it is force of habit to pick up loot when you see it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da. Probably... This is probably going to end soon, the recording, so I'm going to end it of my own volition right before the boss fight, and we're going to pick up from there. Trying to just talk until the radio ends, because I don't want it to be completely radio silent. But yeah, we're going to stop right here, and we'll pick up next time right fucking here.